All right, here is our final segment of the day, and it is a number sort. So I'm going to put these stars up on the board, and I want you to count them inside your head as I'm putting a marker. How many do I have right now? How many stars do I have all together? One, two, three, four, five. Nice, five stars. Now I'm going to put another shape. Okay, count them in your head. I'm going to actually arrange them like this. What shape is that? It's a heart. Hearts. And let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six hearts on there. So do you remember what the number six looks like? It goes very, almost around to a circle, but instead of going up here, we come back and we use this little part out there. Kind of like a plant growing out of it. So this is six, right? And here's our guy. Hat, body, big fat belly. What's he? Five. So we put the five up there by the stars. All right, so you have a series of pictures that you can cut out, and then you have a, a page that looks like this. And then the pictures are like this. There's some of, there's some of um, stained glass windows. There's some of flowers. And there's some of, well, this, this is some of food, I guess, food you can eat. There's tomatoes and strawberries. So cut those out, and when you get them all cut out, this is what you'll do with your paper. I'm going to move my six up here. And here's my paper. So, as you can see, some of the squares has a number five up above it. Where's another one with five? There's one. And here's one. And then some of them have a number six. So here's one. Here's one, and here's one. So when you look at the picture, I'm just gonna get my glue out. I'm gonna need this to glue them on. My lid off, it's always a challenge, isn't it? There we go. So here is my picture of tomatoes. Now tomatoes, we eat the seeds in tomatoes, don't we? Because they're kind of soft. But have you ever noticed when you cut open a tomato, that's exactly where it is. Seeds are found in the fruit or flower. And this even though it's a vegetable, we still say it's a fruit because it's what grows on the plant that we, the part we eat. So we eat the tomato and we eat the seeds. But how many tomatoes are in this picture? Can you count them? There are five tomatoes. So we've got to find one of our fives. There's one. Put some glue in the rectangle. And glue it on there. Now, do you notice that it doesn't exactly fit in the rectangle? That's okay. If you want to make it fit, you can go and say, let's see. It might fit in another one. Oh, yeah, so it fits in that one. So some, some of them are the exact same size. But it doesn't really matter as long as there's a five there on top of it. All right, let's see. Where's our other food? What kind of food are those? Now, have you ever noticed where the seeds are on a strawberry? Are they in the middle? No, <laughs> they're on the outside. Can you, I don't know if you can see. See those little dark spots? Those are the seeds on the strawberry. They're on the outside. Isn't that interesting? It's still found in the fruit, but it's on the outside. Oh, how many strawberries do we have? Have you counted them? Six. All right, now that I know better. Oh, it looks like it fits on this one right there. Is that the number six? Yeah, so maybe we can put it right there. Sometimes I'm so clever, I don't even know, I forget. All right, here we go. Here is one of the stained glass windows. Now, how many pictures do you see on that stained glass window? There are six. We need to find one of our sixes. Now this one's kind of that way. Does it fit? 
Well, you could put it there, it doesn't matter, but it fits really good in this rectangle. I'm gonna put some glue on it. And glue our stained glass windows. Okay, now I'm gonna find the other stained glass window picture. Oh, now these windows are going sideways. That one, that, was that one, the six went in two rows, but this is just one row. Here they go. It's kind of how many, how many panels on that stained glass window? There's five. Looks like they are pictures of men, maybe apostles, maybe saints. I don't know. Pretty pictures. So we gotta find a five. Oh, I think this is the one that goes right there where I tried to put it at the beginning. Yep, it fits in that rectangle just right. All right, and let's do the flowers. What color are these flowers? They're pinkish purplish, aren't they? How many are there in that picture? Five. So we gotta find, there's only one five left. Must be that one. And that tells us there are five flowers in this picture without even counting. We can just look. Oh, there must be five because there is that picture underneath the five. And one more. And these, what do you notice about these flowers? Do you think that these flowers are the same as the ones the girl is holding in this picture? I think they could be. Because what do we notice? They have yellow in the middle and white all the way around. Now, this is a tricky one. How many flowers are in this picture? One, two, three, four, five. And then there's one kind of hidden back here. Six. So there are six flowers with yellow centers. There we have it. Five, six sorts.